am first is Ine, which is Apache. That's who I am. But if people do say, you know, are you, are, are you too spirit? Are you gay? And I tell them, yeah. This morning, um, when I was walking down here, I said a little prayer to myself. Before I traveled here, I said a prayer. Uh, my aunt prayed for me. In our family, especially as Apache people, before we do anything, we're taught to pray. that people know that Bates exists to recover and restore the role of two-spirit people and we do this by creating a forum for the uh, expression of the spiritual, artistic and cultural ways in which two-spirit people have always been a part of community. We accomplished what we wanted. We wanted a powwow that accepted everybody and was welcoming to all people. Going back to the 80s when I went to Red Earth, I didn't necessarily feel that accepted at Red Earth. As a matter of fact, I felt a little, sh little shunned or excluded. And so it felt really empowering to me the very first time that Sorry. We as the organizers really stress very, very much that it has to be welcoming, that everybody in our community is welcome. Two-spirit term was kind of brought together really just in the 90s because a lot of us as tribes had our own terms. In the Anishinaabe, um, I, I think the concept two-spirit actually came from our tradition, from Nishmanidu, like the concept that you could have two beings within a person and that there'd be a special role um, for that person. We think we're often healers, we're the ones that adopt kids, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of benefits to being a two-spirit and a lot of responsibility as a member of the community. Um, for us, a power is a special gathering where we come together, we see old friends. And we want it to be about community. It's not just about LGBT people, but it's something that we as Two-Spirit people can give back to our community. The male part of me, and that was the, the female part of me. That was how it was for me when I learned who I was wearing this female outfit with the male part of me inside together. So that's how I chose to present today. For the first time at a powwow, finally presented myself as two spirit. I never thought that I could and I was so scared. I'm happy to be here. There's a way in which I've always felt very othered in my life, of course being mixed race, uh, but also then two-spirit and, and being gay, there's a way I've always felt so othered in the world, but to come here, uh, I'm no longer othered, I'm the norm, <laughs> and that's a beautiful feeling. I think that if anything, if we could change the lives of those young two-spirits who are afraid now, and who are so scared of being shunned or unloved by their own parents, then I think it's important to have spaces like this so that people can see that we are part of the Native community and we're just like everybody else.